Hey, 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 hey. Welcome back to the Thaumaturge. Um, I've already played a part one. Here we're back for a part two. Um, this has been spring break, so I'm jamming in everything that I can on my last day off before I go to work. So now we've got some more spooky Russian supernatural to deal with. Again. This time it's a matter of life and death. Yes. How is your search going? Almost finished. I know he's attracting the Bukovac. Can you reveal that secret? Not yet. It's Luca. It has to be Luca. Oh, well, I guess I could. Do you still want to catch that Salvador? Yes, absolutely. Despite the risk? I hope I can persuade you to come <clears throat> with me. That's an enormous favor you're asking me. I hope you'll be able to return it. I give my word. Did you hear? We're going to see Luca Bogosian. All right. Luca Bogosian. I have no idea who that is, but we're going to check it out. anything all right Luca is that guy I'm not here to fight Luca this guy came to our house several times to talk to me you shouldn't have threatened my wife why did you do this I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one who brought the Salitor here. The spirit that you all say arrived in the village after Vasily's death. The Salitor is what's making fear consume you all and making you hot-headed. And it's because of your flaw, which has been within you since the murder took place. A murder might just be about to take place. Cut off his head. What? His head before he opens his mouth again. Oh, unless you're the one that killed him. Oh, it's Vesna. Yep, <clears throat> and I'd do it again if I could. So I thought it was her, I don't think it was Luca. Get out of here. Still really cool designs. Oh, difficulty level. Uh, combat is shown to allow you a lot of freedom. Combat is shown to, to win. You must plan your actions carefully. Story, I'll go balanced, I guess. Oh, wow. Fighting wild saluters. To defeat a wild saluter, you must get rid of the shadows that protect him. Vanquishing the shadows will weaken him, but the weaker he is, the more fiercely he will fight back. The bar tells you when the wild saluter sends more enemies against you. Okay, I can. Up uh, I don't really have anything else that I can upgrade here. All right, so the, this is the shadow that I have to deal with. What are you? You are Lucas Shadow. You have five focus. And 38 HP. Um, I do kind of want to just reduce his focus. It means I can hit him really hard. Let's see. So grab a quick strike. So 
What did he do? States. Book of Acts has caused you to enter the suffering state. States can have a benign or potentially deadly effect. Read the descriptions carefully and don't get caught off guard. I am in suffering. It receives two damage at the end of every round. The effect stacks times four. All right, we're going to go ahead and just take down the rest of his focus. His focus is now gone. And we're just going to murder him. Vesna's shadow and father's shadow. got like a lot of oh, well, he's only got one focus so I'm gonna do that and then I want to <clears throat> her focus is down I'm still in suffering. All right, I've got a planned attack. You can do more damage here. Ow. You're down. Halfway down now. How do I restore my life? He's the one that restores the life. I forgot. Vehemence is my flaw now. So he's helping me in the end. Taming a Saluter. You defeated the Bukovac, the D Dimension Solitaire, but you cannot tame him on your own. Rasputin comes to your help. The untamed Saluter won't obey your orders, stops you from developing, and weakens your perception. Fortunately, Rasputin soothed his anger. You achieved the unachievable. Nice. Unbelievable. How do you feel? Are you all right? Well, I don't think I'm hallucinating, but that means I'm currently facing a crowd of furious lumberjacks with access, so I'd say I feel better. What? What? I'm telling the truth. I'll do it again. None of you understand anything. It's because of this magician. It's his fault. Oh, his the fault. The magician didn't kill Vasily. He didn't bring the evil here. You're a witch. Do the stake with her. Do the stake. Well, I wouldn't call her a witch. She Thank just you. Why are was you just angry. There? Are you just letting them do this? Fine. I'll handle it myself. I did it before, and I can do it now. 
Oh. What, what have you done? No, you don't need to see this. Luca, you married a very angry woman. <clears throat> okay, so I've got that force fight. Prevent Luca from making rash decisions. Think, Luca. Your feelings for Vesna are still true, I know that. Hear out her reasons before you do anything. Yeah. Okay. You two better not come back to the village. I think she was being, um... As if we wanted to. Molested or something awful in those regards. That's, that's the only thing that I can kind of think of. But I think they locked us pretty much out of the village. Excuse me, sir. Do you happen to know when the train arrives? The that's an American. Usually no more than an hour late, so it should be here any moment. I got a tougher question for you. Pardon? Will this train get me close to Albuquerque? New I'm afraid that's an ocean away. Yeah. Even to the ocean, you've got a ways to go. It's New Mexico. Thank you. Ever since I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque, I can't get my bearings. Things I've seen, sir. Places I've been. I just can't get to Albuquerque. That's weird. Like, that is... I don't know. That's just weird. I don't know how to explain how weird that is. Him saying he can't get to Albuquerque. And leaving Albuquerque at that point. Huh. So he's manipulation, he is heart, and he is deed. I wanted to send two telegrams, one to Warsaw and one to Paris. Mr. Shulsky, I was meant to send for you when the driver came to get the mail. My condolences about your father. Oh, your father died. Well, you didn't think he was a very good man, so... Do you still want to send something? Yes. You still have a sister. Did you come to say goodbye to me? More like to share my fear. Your condition yesterday, after the fight with that... Bukovac, it troubled me. I don't think my treatments are having a long-lasting effect. And you don't look the best. Do you feel all right? Huh. Okay. I just heard that my father is dead. We're gonna be honest. My condolences. After your treatment, when I was hallucinating, I saw him. I heard his voice for the first time in years. I'm sure it was him. And he was an asshole. Maybe he came to say goodbye. Maybe it was his last chance to speak to you. Prophecy. I hope not. What yeah. do you intend to do now? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. I have to bury my father. Also. Hmm. What about you? Thanks to you, I don't think I have anything else to do here. Nice. I had a little time to think about what I saw in your mind. Tell me, Victor, 
Have you ever seen a human skull cracked open on the cobblestone? That's a weird question to ask. I haven't. I have. The skull of Franz Ferdinand himself, with his brain spilling out onto the sidewalk. I also saw the white steps in Odessa running with blood. A battlefield blanketed in lethal fog, with faceless beings emerging from it. Oh. This hasn't happened yet, but I saw it as clearly as I see you now. It looks like a prophecy that he's talking about. I know that I can stop it. I know that I am part of history, and I can change it. Even at the cost of scorn, contempt, or my life. You promised me a favor, so... Are we trying to make Rasputin a good person? Is that what this game is? Is like Rasputin pop propaganda? Uh... I mean, I'll still play it. But like... Oh, I should have just continued on from last time just to get to the title screen. <laughs> oh well. That's not very welcoming. Well, all right then. Warsaw! Warsaw! Last stop, Warsaw. Time to wake up. It's clouding over. The weather is like my mood. Aside from the circumstances of the funeral bringing you back, you haven't thought of ever returning here? Read him what the paper say about to tell him about what you think of Warsaw. I hate this city. It always makes me think of the stench of vodka, sweat, and urine. Nice. Corruption, poverty, and trust me, no justice but street justice. I'm sure something must have changed since you left. But probably not for the better. What about the people? Those close to you? You'll never miss them? I definitely didn't expect I'd be coming to my father's funeral so early. I'd noticed you two had certain differences in your views on life. Yes, especially on my life. But admittedly, that's not a very exciting discovery. Never you is. All you've learned about me in our journey. You do in your sleep. Anything in there about Warsaw? Give him a brief overview. Workers are striking. They want to take advantage of the Tsar's visit to Orsa. The protests are being violently suppressed. Last week, around a dozen people were killed. Ouch! Polish Socialist Party militants attacked a train. They stole money, bombs, and explosive materials. They also suspected of robbing a transport of Dutch bombing. The Socialists in Warsaw must look pretty sharp then. <laughs> Further along, we've got murders, muggings, and poverty. The newspapers feed on sensation. Remember that in darkness, even a small spark can be seen clearly. Even I can feel hope from all the people riding with us. Can't you? Let's tell them what we've seen. Without my powers, I can tell that hope is bringing people here from all three partitions. Miners, steel workers, scavengers, maids, speculators, thieves. 
I have gotten to read a few of our fellow passengers' possessions, and I know that help can have many faces. Will you share that knowledge with me? Hmm. Sure. There's a terrified woman riding with us. She's either running away or in hiding. I think that gentleman is smuggling something, because excitement is all mixed up with guilt inside him. And this dandy. This dandy. Ha! If there's something I've learned in life, Victor, it's never to neglect the horse. Never! Even Jesus Porto didn't. And Obeline. Welcome to Varsava. I think the time's come to ask where you plan to stay. Your mom's house? I will let you know when I come up with something. is a melting pot of just different emotions and he's feeling it all at once. I think him and Rasputin both. Alright. We are now in Warsaw. My duper relapse. Empire's fall. I would like to see if there were anything here that I might need. Anyone to talk to? Do I have... Oh, okay, yeah, I guess I do. the state of suffering bloody wedding inflicts damage equal to eight for each enemy inflicted by a suffering state that's pretty cool perfect efficiency is what I got oh, okay so I have pride and I can interchange which ones I want maybe I can no I guess not I guess these are just Pride is his innate one. Yeah, my innate flaw. And the other ones are just kind of there. Increases the damage. Powerful mind. But I went ahead and got um, heart up. Yep, only one way to go. What is this? Oh. 1905, Southern, I cannot pronounce that, Srodmishki, I, I don't know, there, there are too many umlauts and accents on there that I couldn't, I'm, I'll butcher it. <clears throat> the Daily Courier. Wanted notice. <laughs> Leader of the Shivs gang. His name is Obrisi Nidzik. Okay. Anti Thaumaturge leaflets. Okay, but they can't really bring down this the economy. That's weird. T 
County Weekly Magazine. You can always go back and pause and, and actually read yourself if you if you want to. But remember, reading and collecting stuff increases my experience. I am already getting tired. <clears throat> hmm. So we already know that the king is coming. 11 hour work days are killing us. I work a 12 hour work day. Let's follow the example of the workers in German and English factories to fight to reduce them to nine working hours. I work a 12 hour work day. Welcome to America, guys. I do whatever I can just to survive. Menu. Borscht. Fruit soup. Pottage with crayfish. Goose and jelly. Young turkey. Compote. Romaine lettuce. Pan seared saffron milk cups. Cucumber salad. Okay. Some of those are really weird. There's another. Several people have died in a building collapse, including the suspected Warsaw entrepreneur Stanislav Solsky. Huh. That's never good. All right, so I do have one more. Do I want to go mine or do I want to go? Can I, like. Yeah, I can't give him. Oh, I can give him that one, though. The city that does not forget. Oh no, that's a Tsar. Brothers. Russia has had enough bloodshed. The violence must stop. When socialists attempt to divide Russia and her subject nations, to dent the sword that smote the enemy at Grunwald, this demands my decisive action. Thus, by my grace, I hereby appoint as Governor General of Warsaw Georgi Antonovich Stawon. A butcher. Yeah. Not a popular guy, I presume. I see you ain't from here. His swine keeps a photo album of all the folks he's had shot at the Citadel. Before and after execution. Well, so the time for leniency and indulgence is over. From the moment this office is bestowed on me, no forces hostile to the subjects of Greater Russia will have any further right to exist. None, whether it be brutal socialist subversives, communists, Jews. Or other satanic provocators. You sure know yep. how to unite the crowd. Pardon me. Are you Polish? Yes, I feel Polish. I feel Polish. My name is Victor. Vanda. This is Russia here. She might be Polish too. Or not. Warsaw. Premia Terora. My first decision as Governor General of Warsaw is to kill that one guy there. Oh, 
great heroes and their sense of timing. Of course, now they're the first ones in the fight. Some more blood on you, Pugliaki. We want that rebel. The Loudmouth. Yep. Damn. What happened? Here, gentlemen. Please kneel and tie my shoe. That seems more like a job for the servants, young lady. Go ahead. Look down. Bullets? Can I ask you a tiny favor? The Russians can't find out about this. The military is just looking for an excuse to suppress the crowd. And these workers are dreaming of thrashing a Russian gendarme. Either one of you confesses to disturbing the peace out of CX Zabirai. We'll take you all in. You can't handle all of us. Can you get us out of here? I think I'm open to any kind of suggestion. With a book like that, I find out what would convince one of these bastards to let us go. Oh. So she knows. Or I'd take on that self-appointed leader of the proletariat. Interesting strategy. Who are you, really? A damsel in distress. There's no need to be hide ammunition in their stockings. Nope. Can I explain it to you another time? If, for instance, I could disclose to a soldier that you came here with ammunition under your skirt. Maybe we should see who they believe. A respected lady of Warsaw, or a common magician who just a hundred years ago would have been burned at the stake. Well, since you asked so nicely, <laughs> I'm going to take a look around. All right, let's see what I can do. Find a way to get out of the kettling. Let's talk to the workers' leader. You think it's a good idea to stir people up and send them to face bullets and bayonets? What do you want then? My whole life on my knees? Kissing Ruski's ass? Do you realize blood is about to be spilled? And that it might be mine? Fuck off! Okay. Sergeant and Corporal. Pardon me, gentlemen. The crowd has received the order. For now, zero response. We'll give them a moment. We arrest them all, book them, interrogate them. Most probably, we'll be home in November. Gentlemen, please forgive me. Maybe there's a faster way to get this situation resolved. Back off, Poliak. Or we'll start shooting. Paniatno, scrum. Devoir. Sergeant, I didn't want to do this, but my name is Viktor Shulski. Shulski or Smolski, I don't care. We'll make an example of you for the rest of these bastards. Okay, that's not good. I didn't really want to have to deal with that. What have I got? I can... Uniform damage, 8 to 9. I can always have him. Well, yeah, I guess we're going to start this fight. Selecting yourself a Salutar. You can preview both your and Salutar skills. This will help you plan your attack. Summoning another saluter. You can summon another saluter anytime. A green flame around the saluter's image means they are exceptionally effective in a fight with a given enemy. Read the description above the saluter to find out why they will be useful in the moment. Uses a offensive base skills, perfect finishing off heavily armor. Okay, so it's su suggested that. Let's 
Let's see what I got. I'm going to take action. We got three, we got, th oh wow. I uh, might as well reduce his focus. Then I might be able to do something. Enemy reinforcements are on the way. Really doesn't help me. I want to re to do that, and then let me hit. Your focus is now down. heavy attack and you're basically dead from that concussions got him knocked down ow okay uh, he's gonna die next round I think I was wrong like that's going to work. Knocked him out. All right, I got that canceled now. Yep, I need to get some more life back. What have I got? Perfections. Make every attack on the enemy deal the maximum possible damage. Complications. Restores, reduces restored health points by 40%. Effect stacks for two. And I'm also bleeding. That is not good. Get a couple of quick attacks. Traits. Enemies have a trait that makes them immune to your attacks. Traits are related to different dimensions that can be disabled. Disabling traits. Disable enemies' trait, attack them with a saluter that belongs to the same dimension as the trait. Note that if you don't have the required dimension force, you can take away all the opponent's focus and launch a strong attack. Okay, so what what it what is his trait? Resistance. I think that's still heart, right? So he has a resistance to... He has a resistance to the heart. But not to deed. Okay, so we're going to bring you back in. Uh, wow, you got a lot of focus there. How come I, uh, it looks like my quick attack has a one or a two on there. All right, so we are going to add some suffering. Oh, I just shot him. So this saluter allows me to shoot. Uh, 
And then what do we got? Doom inflicts damage to lower the enemy's health points to faster the skill speed. Uh, inflicts damage. Inflicts damage equal to eight for each enemy afflicted by suffering. Oof. He's down. Ow! Well, that uh, that wasn't really what was supposed to happen. You lost the revolver and the grimoire. Name. Shulski, Victor. One of those Shulskis? Yes. My condolences. Now, profile. Thank you. <laughs> what are you pissing in the bucket for, asshole? Where else am I supposed to? Brown in the bucket, whiz on the wall. You better remember that, too. That bucket's gonna last you guys till tomorrow. Ew. So they they did go ahead and round up everybody. We got revolutionary leaflets. Wise guy. What are you staring at, Ganef? I don't know what that means. Yeah, what is a Ganef? Quit squealing. First time in the big city? Have some respect if you don't know who you're running your mouth at. What did they put such a swell in jail for? They showed a couple of Russian soldiers when I think about the petitions. I have moments like that sometimes. And I gave it to some Ruskies in the kisser, too. Huh. There's this red-bearded fella sitting there. I glassed him in the face, then kicked him in the bean. And where? On the floor. And I pinched his billfold, too. Oh. Did anybody ask you? Shut your damn trap. Well, are you from somebody? My name's Viktor Shulski, and I work on my own behalf. All right. Respect. First of all, I am a Thaumaturg. Now them, I got respect for. I know one really decent Jew from Povishla. Who's a wizard too? Nice. How about you? You got a foreskin or what? Oh. Is my foreskin any of your fucking business? Well, no. I, I was just schmuck. But you don't look like much of a Warsaw lad. I'm not. I'm just here for my father's funeral. I hope you don't miss the funeral toast. Welcome to Warsaw. Okay, so what have I got? I can't get out just yet. I gotta go talk to Wanda. I wouldn't call you a master strategist. Ta we got away from the station, so theoretically, we achieved our goal. You're not losing your sense of humor. I guess this isn't your first time in a place like this, <coughs> is Oh, no, not at all. I spent a little time in the Rue de la Raquette in Paris. It got demolished five years ago. Oui. What about you? <laughs> you seem to know your way around this setting. You've been here often? I'll take that as a compliment. And sure, sometimes, if the cause demands it. What cause? Let's say I know certain folks who'd find poles like you useful. Oh. Dealers in stolen Dutch pomade? Donut connoisseurs. They met at Burke Rockblitz's cafe. I don't want to jinx it, but do you spend time there too? If I'm not there, no one will want to talk to you. Oh. And don't worry, I don't usually hang out long in places like this. Well, that's nice. 
Sholsky. I see you won't be hanging out here long either. Yeah, you shouldn't let me out to begin with. Sholsky, this yours? Yep. That's right. Then take it and get out of here. What about my revolver? Thank you. I'm not going to ask too many questions. It's probably his sister who came to bail him out. Wanda's file. I think this girl has been here before. Victor's file. I have my own file. Recruiting for the Garamandi, it is recommended to reject the following candidates immediately. Jews, persons related to rebels, trouble, thaumaturgies, and any deviation from these must be well argued. Yeah, that's a, is that, a, that must be a different one. I didn't read it all. I thought it was the same one. Maria Burkoa, 54 years residing in Warsaw, Old Praga, accused of complicity in stealing 2,000 ruble worth of Dutch pomade. Wanted. Shortened stature, black hair, small hazel eyes, three scars on the right leg. Interesting. Let's see what I got. Develop that. That's kind of cool. Skill uh, additionally casts the state on a random enemy. Okay. Can't go out there. Let's read as much as we can. Dinner time of our gracious Tsar of all Russia's visit to Warsaw, it is necessary to enhance the sense of security. Therefore, I ordain that the number of patrols must be doubled. All station chiefs are required to comply with the order immediately. That looks to be the way out. Stanislaw's obituary, rightly respected citizen, thaumaturge, philanthropist, entrepreneur, father, and husband, died suddenly on August 31st at the age of 64. A service for the repose of his soul be held at St. Charles Borromero Church on Saturday, September 7th at 11 o'clock, to which his daughter would like to invite all relatives, friends, and acquaintances. Yeah... I want to make sure I didn't miss out on anything over here. I did not. Okay. I wish I had a map. Right. I forgot. That teaches me, tells me where I need to go. But you never know what you might find by not going where you need to go. See? Propaganda brochure. Sewers of the city of Warsaw are uh, as a tool used by Judaism and charlatan to destroy Polish agriculture and exterminate the Slavic population by living by the Vestula River. Nice. Can't really go in there. Did I? Okay, I did get my revolver back. That's good. A couple of rubles. Oh, I, I picked up our files. I thought I just kind of read them. Ah, here's the map. I can't go in any, any of those. Tram stop, carriage. There's another tram stop. Okay, that's locked. You are also locked.
your carriage. Guess I gotta go here. There's the obituary notice. Oh, this is for a different person. Francesca Hilmantel. That was for Lord of the Rosary for the intention of the Brothers and Sisters of the Confraternity of the Holy Rosary. Stanislaus obituary. Already got that one. Here lies Jan Chimilik, our dear friend. Mar Maria Wasnowski, Polish stage artist. Find more things to read. Graf, Vidrick Carl Nesselrod. <coughs> okay, that looks like it's... Don't have anything there. All right, we'll develop... The mind up. All right, so that's telling me everything there. There didn't seem to be too much. That's locked. That's locked. I gotta go this way. I'm sure you don't remember me. My name's Hayat. Mordechai Hayat. I wanted to offer my condolences. Thank you. Please, forgive my prying. I know Mr. Schultz took nitroglycerin for his heart, but... How did he pass away? Uh, um, Was that his cause of death? His heart? No. I don't know what it means by draws from it. It it not only draws from your flaw of pride's level, but will also feed it even more. I don't know what that means. I'm curious myself. I haven't had a chance to find out. Yes, I, I understand. My condolences, once again. I'll leave you alone. I'm sure you want to bid farewell to your father. Well, not really. I think I ought to arrest you, Dalmatur. You sound drunk. Put your hands down. Someone might see. You still haven't figured out who I am? Don't be surprised. The last time we saw one another was 20 kilos ago. <laughs> Uncle Veronia? I will not keep you. That guy's probably all alone back there. Among those vultures circling Stasio. I'm sure she'll be glad to see you. Go on. We'll talk later. Okay. Then we'll talk later. Sister? Victor. I'm so glad you came. 
I wasn't sure if my telegram had reached you. I'm glad to. How are you holding up? All this caught me off guard, but... For now, I don't have time to think things through calmly. Look at yourself. What happened? Have you written to Mother? Yes, but... What can you expect? You know what Nadia is like. Oh. It was never her style to show up. Don't even call her mother. Just calls her Nadia. It's getting late. And we've still got the reading of Papa's will ahead of us at home. And I'll leave you two alone. I suppose you've got your own matters to clear up. Hmm. Fine. Let's get this over with. So, it was me who got it right in the end. Back then, on the train platform, was the last time we saw one another. Fifteen years ago. After brief suffering, fell asleep in the Lord. Brief? I hope not. Did you write this yourself? Ah. A tyrant, bigot, and liar. Mistakenly absorbed died after suffering all too briefly. That's better. Definitely closer to the truth. The day you died, you visited me in my dreams. I was a child when you hounded me out of here, and I remember you as you were back then. But in my dream, you left Olga. <laughs> you gave me hell as usual. You didn't believe I'd succeed. You were wrong. Come back for two salutaries. I'm sorry. Let's at least so things I didn't get to say to your face. Honor him. All those years, I said them over. I had to do the same for my mother. In my head, how you were never able to admit a mistake. You never sought blame in yourself. Someone else was always guilty. Never you, mother, because she wanted something for herself in life. Lydia, because she wasn't born a boy. Me because I was born a thaumaturg, but I didn't want to live following your principle. And now... <sighs> Farewell, Father. Am I intruding? I was reflecting at the grave of my beloved father. You tricked me. I heard something else. Stanislav and I were acquainted. You might say I knew everything about your father. Mr. Victor Shulsky, isn't it? Your absence from Warsaw has happily come to an end, I hope. He's got, like, massive scarring. I haven't had time to think about it. I understand. I hope you'll find some reason to stay here a little longer. Why? Again, my condolences. Why do you want me to stay? I didn't catch your name. Good, I didn't throw it. My name's Konishkin. Ivan Konishkin. Ah, he's Goodbye. Russian. I interesting friends you have. <sighs> I, I guess I'm more tired than I thought. I want to know who got him out of jail. Great grandmother Josefina, a thaumaturge. Grandpa Nikolin, a thaumaturg. I barely remember him. Alright, looks like we just need to get on another carriage and head uh, up north. We 
can go. The hardest thing was getting the rid of the arm. Discovering I could handle. <laughs> you can play the clown, but I know how much this has cost you. I'm glad you went. I always play the clown. Arrow's postmortem. Is it suitable for a young lady in mourning to fraternize with bachelors? It's my brother. Constantia Shavorska, the Warsaw Courier. Could I ask for a brief comment? Hyena. Thank you. Uh -huh. And you, sir? We're twins, my dear lady. The Shulskis reunited. You don't look like a horrid cripple. <laughs> Why did you leave Warsaw so quickly? <laughs> Why are you Don't calling me her anything? a cripple? She'll write whatever she wants anyway. And we'd better get going. I can sort it out, but it might cause you some trouble. It's not worth getting your hands dirty over. Get out of here, or I might decide you're attacking an Imperial official, and you'll wake up tomorrow in the Citadel. Are you threatening me, Judge? I'm actually sparing you from him. Would you rather try your luck with a taumaturge? Come <laughs> on, children. I'm sure my Pietia is already waiting for us at home. I'd love to see my cousin. Are you coming with us? Yeah. Thanks. Get in. I'm sure the lawyer is already waiting for us. Alright, this looks to be where, where we're supposed to be. Anything over here that I can read? Get some experience points? Hmm? That's what I want to know. These guys are drunk. Nothing I can do to help them. Circus Sin Sinicella. Well, I got me a ticket to the circus. Looks kind of sketchy. A pretty big map, actually. <clears throat> Specifically, when all I'm trying to do is uh, find things to read. Yeah, those guys are also drunk. Why are there so many drunk people around? Hmm. Okay. Ah, there's something. It's a brochure for Dr. Campbell's safe arsenic soap. Yes, because arsenic is safe. advertisement poster for the Panthe new phonograph. Alright. I wouldn't mind one of those myself. Anything else? Anything? Just one more. One more would be enough to have me gain one more point. But it does not look like there is anything here. Or 
supposed to come right in here. Anything? No. Miss, your game there we go. Is on. The lawyer's upstairs too, waiting. A trifle jittery. Wonder if the tea I made him was too strong. Thank you, Grezuna, dear. Let the guests wait. First, I want to take care of the world. I just wet my whistle and join you all upstairs. Make sure Uncle makes it upstairs sober. <laughs> and I'll suggest you don't dawdle either. He already sounds drunk. Master Victor, good God! Half your face covered, but I could tell right away it was you. You look just like your father in his youth. Completely the spitting image. Should I make you some cocoa, Master? It would warm you up a little. Actually, yes. Make an extra creamy one for Lydia. Oh, I won't skimp on her. Now, your sister's putting a brave face on all this, but she's really having a hard time. It's lovely to see you again. But that's enough jabber for now. I've got the guests and the cocoa, and I've got to whip up some food for you all later. We'll talk soon. All right, let's go find my uncle. Father's portrait. Ah, it's his cousin. I don't want to put my foot in my mouth again. I already failed to recognize someone once today. But you look familiar. Well, I should think so. I was the victim of one of your starling hunts. Voronins must not be very memorable, cousin. Tietia, <laughs> forgive me, and for shooting me as well. <laughs> huh. I shot you once. Just some heart problems, not a subject for today. I'm sorry about Uncle Stanislav. Forgive me for not coming to the funeral. I can't bear cemeteries. We'll have to meet up again. Goodbye. The evening extra. Ah, basically saw what happened to us today and why I got thrown in jail. Ah, it's a liquor recipe. It's always good. Oh, I'm glad you're here. I thought I'd have to drink alone. So many goodies laid out for the guests. Having trouble picking something for yourself, Judge? But this was Stasha's. Yes. Was special. They're always special. Amber liqueur with quinces. I think you mean quince liqueur with amber, right? If it's not here, I'm sure it's in the basement. But I won't grope around down there in the dark now. I've got my hands full. Now, I don't want to trouble you either. Victor, could you track down a little bottle for your uncle? I suppose I'm obligated to accept this mission. <laughs> Good lad. A nephew like you is a treasure. Okay, I've got to go to the cellar for a bottle. Dinner recipes. I don't think you should. How did it go? Mission accomplished? You'll have to wait a moment, yes, Uncle. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. What do I have? There we go. So that is to the cellar. Bust of Morena. Something tells me there's going to be something in the cellar. That's a garden. I don't need to go there. Just... Mother's portrait. Why is it down here? Okay. 
right. Sauvignon Bordeaux. So I've got a couple of things here. Pinot Noir. So I can draw Verona's bottle. Uncle Bottle, every bottle found in Slowski's cellar contains a credible beverage. Uncle Vernon's wouldn't disregard any of them. So that means that... Um, He'll basically enjoy each one. How did it go? Mission accomplished? Okay, so I can give him whichever one I wanted. Whichever one I want. I think this is the one Uncle wanted. It's the liquor. Yes. This is our little funeral battle. We would meet in Stasha's study after every funeral we went to. And raised a toast to the dead. And recently, we've been seeing one another more and more at such events. More and more. But this time, even he has left me. So, to an easy death, as Stasha and I used to say. Hmm. How did he die? Hasn't Ligia told you? I haven't even had the chance to ask. No. Nope. He didn't suffer. But such images in the memory are better saved for later. I'd prefer to remember him as he was alive. What then? Am I drinking alone? Familiar faces keep vanishing from my life. Stasio and my Helena before him. I miss my little darling. I miss them both. Well, obligation fulfilled. Shall we get to the reading of the will? Yep. You'll all have to wait for me a moment then. Just a all moment. Right. Now hurry up. I would like to go to the garden. Oh, I can have another. Yes, a medicine slap's most common fatal C as well to our health then. Oh, I, I drew him. It's kind of cool. Never done that before. I want to go to the garden. Just to have a look around. Why are there people outside in the garden in the rain? There's nothing there. Bust of Siren. A serious photo. Straight back, stern expression, noses in the air. Two boys are just trying to meet everyone's expectations. Something went wrong here. Oh, I can get changed. You want to change your clothes? I don't have any other clothes to change into. Message from mother. Dear child, stop. It is with great sorrow that I have received the news of Stanislaw's death. Stop. Unfortunately, I will not be able to attend the funeral ceremony. My duties in Paris keep me from traveling to Warsaw at this time. I join you both in mourning and sorrow. Mama. My letter from Rome. The evening edition. Huh. All right. My letter from Paris. So she did get quite a bit of the letters. The Pseudo Monarchia Demonimum. Oh. It's basically about demons. A 
and different solitaires. Right. Can okay, I've got all of them out. That costs two, that costs two. I do not have anything more. <clears throat> Slavsky family portrait. No smiling and no fidgeting. Oh, there's something up there, too. Oh, it's his will. So I get his grimoire. <clears throat> Daughter gets basically all the business. Vernon gets some guns. And then everything else Whatever, is sold. Mr. Shursky, I only need all of you to be present. Can we start reading to your father as well? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Will be done again. Let's begin if everyone is ready. Would you all please take a seat? Ladies and gentlemen, by the power of my office vested in me by the grace of His Imperial Majesty, the Emperor of all Russia, I hereby testify. Mr. Shursky's last will and testament were prepared several years ago in the presence of Zatstav Fedorov, Esquire, that is, myself. My last will and testament recorded in the year of our Lord, 1888. In the name of the Holy Trinity. Amen. Therefore, my first irrevocable wish Let's be kind is to the lawyer. as executrix of this will, my daughter, Lydia <coughs> Schulzka. Immediately after my death, an inventory shall be conducted in full accordance with the law. After completing the inventory, all my personal movables will be sold at public auction. And let the funds raised thereby be donated on the anniversary of my death to the beggars near the cemetery. The administration of the remainder of my fortune I leave, without restriction, to the person of my daughter, Lydia. I'm not even guessing the teaspoon. All movables <laughs> and immovables relating to the family enterprise I entrust to the care and administration of my daughter. I do not prescribe a method of administering them. I merely offer her one piece of advice. I wish that the business should be conducted with modesty, prudence and honesty as I have conducted it my whole life. Ha! Ah. The joker to the very end. <laughs> to my brother-in-law and oldest friend, Alexander Voronin, I wish to leave the following. My collection of muskets and two revolvers dating to the uprising in memory of our first meeting. Stasio, I will have plenty to do in my retirement. Enjoy your retirement. I would also like to come to the aid of my only son, Viktor Shulsky, by entrusting him with the use of my personal black grimoire, in the hope that he will be able to make good use of it. 
This is my last will and testament. Carry it out solemnly, though you may have found it burdensome. However, this last bequest poses a certain problem. Yes, it certainly does. And what is that, may I ask? I am not in possession of this grimoire. The late Mr. Shulsky used it up until his death. Yet no one left it with me at all. Oh, so I've got to find it. Meaning it's disappeared? Did Father have his grimoire on him at the time of his death? It was only because of the grimoire that we could identify him at all. What actually happened? How did he die? A building collapsed on top of him. <laughs> I don't know any other way to explain it. Well. Where did it happen? Where was this building? The southern part of Shuzmieście, not far from the police station. Anyway, you can miss it. Of all the possibilities, this was the death that fate prepared for him. I foresaw a slightly more pleasant end for him myself. Yeah. I doubt even he deserved such a horrible death. Nobody really does. I mean, in the end, we don't even know if he's still, if he's really dead. Never said on the subject of a father. How typical of this sort of person to keep a portrait in the study of a family that was only family on canvas. Not long after the painting was done, he got divorced, ruined the Legitus, and kicked out his son. But there the portrait hangs, as if family meant anything at all. I don't know what exactly happened with Abomitsu, but I know that Papa felt guilty. You don't want to forgive him even now that he's gone? The dead need no forgiving. And as for forgetting, I don't know how. It's just a shame about the grimoire. What do you intend to do? Hmm. Father evidently knew a certain Ivan Konyechkin. Have you heard anything about him? Konyechkin? No, oh, doesn't ring a bell. All sorts of people came to Papa's store. That doesn't mean every one of them might know something about the grimoire. That's true. You've got your work cut out for you. And Mordechai Chayat. Could that be a lead? I don't think so. He worked with father, but he left more than a year ago. I don't know why. He was an assistant at our, well, my store. Do you know where I might find him? Sadly, no. Yeah. Do you have any other ideas? And where are father's things at the moment? You're standing at the very center of his kingdom. Not everything has been sorted through yet, but go right ahead. In the store? I should check there too. I've started stock taking there to distract myself, and I don't want you to go in there before I've finished. As you wish. Yep. I think we have to look for the answer in the place where it happened. With your sight, you can make out more in those ruins than I, or Uncle, or Detective could. That's right. This is a good lead, but is it the only one? Hmm. Now at least I can see how little I know. Maybe these scraps of information will lead me somewhere. Well, now that we know what's got to be figured out, forgive me, my darlings. I'm going to give my old bones rest. I'll see you out. Goodbye, Uncle. And, uh, Ligla. I'm sorry it happened this way. But I wasn't close by. 
the most important thing is you're here now. Yes, I am. What does he see? Yes, I'm not too fond of this place either. This is where I had my last conversation with my father, just before I left. If you can call it a conversation. Can you see my dreams? Nightmares, actually. Ever since I decided to come back, I keep reliving the same memory. The Lone Shark Incident. I've been seeing his death more and more lately. I wonder if the shop is still there. Perhaps we should go there and check. We might. All right. <clears throat> so, we know what we're going to have to do. The human heart is worth more than all the riches in the world tonight. S R. Books on ancient cultures. It's a suitcase. A ritual mask. Yeah, I knew there was something up here. Collection of books on the occult. <clears throat> Father's thoughts were recently occupied with a search of knowledge that bordered on the obsessive. This is related to something much more than his usual curiosity about the world, which I remember for him. He was looking for something, hunting for saluters, exploring the mysteries of everything related to thaumaturgy. The only thing I still don't know is where it led him. Okay. Are you in your room, sister? My love for you is burning. It keeps me from eating. It keeps me from sleeping. It keeps me from living. Lagaya, I'm begging you to end my agony. Agree to be my... Ooh. She has a suitor. <clears throat> Increases inflicted damage by 50%. Restores four of your health points for every enemy. Yeah, actually I need that. Okay, I need you there. I still have... Oh yeah, I still have a point that I can't do anything with. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it here. It is an hour and 30 minutes. If you've stayed this long, hey, I appreciate it. Um, I still like the game. The game's really good. But it does seem to be very propaganda-ish. So, if you'd like to see more, let me in in the comments. I go back to work tonight. Uh, 12 hours every single day for the next four days. So maybe when I come back, I'll get some more stuff out. Until then, be kind to each other. And I'll see you in the next one.